just a heads up the audio is a bit bad hey guys i hope you're all doing great this video is basically to show you how to level the x gantry of a cr10s pro there are several videos out there which show you different ways of uh, leveling the x gantry but most of the time it is temporary and you might get one or two prints successfully but then after that the gantry goes back to its normal level so there are a few steps which you can do to um, if not completely at least 95% of the time you will not have to keep re-leveling the x gantry every time you start a print so what we're gonna do is we're gonna level this x gantry over here so what i've done here is i have already removed the threaded rod from this side and i've also removed the coupler now this is the rod and this is the coupler that i have removed you notice that i've only done it on one side because mainly i wanted to show you what i'm going to install this is the anti-backlash nut that i'm going to install i had already installed a different uh, type of anti-backlash nut on this printer but it was mainly plastic normally with the reality 3d printers we get a 100 mm uh, acrylic scale but you just get one of it it doesn't help much when you level one side of the printer and then you level the other side by adjusting the coupler of course it will help in that particular print or maybe one more print after that but once you switch off the printer it comes back to its normal state where you will end up again uh, re-leveling the x gantry so as long as you do this definitely going to save a lot of time for you guys firstly we have to print two of these which are exactly identical to each other and 100 mm in height so this is basically a replacement for the acrylic scale that you get along with the reality printers this is available in thingiverse so when you lower the x gantry and let it rest on the printed part you will find that the left side is a bit more saggy because of the all metal extruders and on the right side you will find a small gap there are many videos out there showing how to adjust this by adjusting the coupler which is just a temporary solution you can see here that on the left side there is a small play here so i'm just going to lower this a bit and now that side is fit but on the right side you will find that there is a small gap here but this is what creates the problem in order to fix that you need to loosen this screw here inside and adjust the eccentric nut here and you also need to loosen these two screws this will make the entire right side a bit loose which will allow you to adjust it further after that you need to install the anti-backlash nut here so once that is installed you also need to get the 760 mm closed loop um, gt2 timing belt it would also be great to get a belt tensioner as well um, which is just going to make your life much more easier you also need to get the gt2 pulleys it normally comes in a pack of five and the gt2 pulley goes above this particular part which is fixed on top of the printer so the belt is normally connected between these two rods and the belt tensioner comes in between which is used to easily adjust the tightness of the belt one major advantage of using a belt tensioner is that both the rods will move at the same time A major disadvantage of using this particular anti-backlash nut is that it is plastic and it gets easily worn out after a couple of uses. So that's the reason why I upgraded it to a brass anti-backlash nut. You can see that the size of the brass anti-backlash nut is a bit more uh, longer compared to the standard black one. You can actually use the same existing screws for the anti-backlash nut. Once you put the screws in, you can use a tweezer or pliers to tighten it a bit. Make sure that you don't over tighten it, just enough. Put the rod back into it. This is the coupler and you can see inside the coupler there is a ledge on which the rod is going to be resting. This is exactly at the middle of the coupler. Place the coupler back at its place. Insert the anti-backlash spring and the other end of the nut. Make sure that you have squeezed it tight and then allow the threaded rod to pass through it. Keep turning the rod until it rests on the ledge of the coupler. Loosen the top screw, the bottom screw and the screw inside the gantry of the x-axis. Once that is loosened up, turn the printer side and let's now install the anti-backlash nut on the all metal and uh, extruder side. Make sure you remove the cable if you have not already done so. Unscrew the screws that is holding the metal bracket in place. Unscrew the two screws which is holding the chip. Disconnect the cable connected to the filament sensor. Loosen the screws of the coupler so that you can easily take up the rod.
just as before use the existing same screws. Use a tweezer or a plier to tighten the screws. Place the rod back through the anti backlash nut. Place the spring at the other end of the anti backlash nut. Make sure you squeeze it as tight as possible. Place the coupler back in its original place and keep turning the threaded rod until it rests on the coupler. Screw the circuit chip back. And reconnect the filament sensor cable. You'll still find a play on the right side because the screws are all loosened up. Tighten the top screw, bottom screw and the screw inside the X gantry as required and then adjust the eccentric nut using a spanner. Hold the coupler and the red metal frame giving a slight support and then tighten the screws of the coupler. Tighten the screws of the coupler on the other side. Place the metal bracket back and screw them again. You will now find that both the printed parts are sitting firmly below the X gantry level. Fix the belt tensioner on the printer using the T-nut that is provided with the tensioner. This is how the belt would look like once it is installed. Take the GT2 pulley and insert the grab screws into it. Make sure that you do not fully tighten it. Place it on the rod and using an allen key tighten the grab screw onto the rod. Repeat the same for the other GT2 pulley as well. If the belt does not fit in, Loosen the screws on both the sides and then fix the belt. Once the belt fits in, tighten the screws back. Now you can adjust the belt tightness using the wheel. And that's it. Your X gantry level is now properly leveled. And even after turning off the printer, when you switch it on, the X country is going to stay in that same level. Thank you guys and do subscribe if you like the video. Hope you guys have a great day.